All right, guys, welcome back to Taylor's Garage. This is going to be an epically exciting video because we are putting our hydraulic handbrake in the EU Falcon. Guys, we have all our stuff ready to go. So, first on the agenda, we have to strip out the owl. We have to strip out the interior, get all this crap out, um, and figure out a place to put our handbrake in. I'm thinking it's got to go, it's got to go somewhere here. So, this is coming out, doesn't work anyways. We're going to take all this shit out, probably the seat, cut a hole in the, in, the in here, on, cut a hole in this um, floor mat stuff that's in the utes. Um, weld up a bracket, weld up some sort of bracket to the chassis because it's going to be reefing on this thing pretty hard when I'm drifting. But yeah, this is going to be epic. We have all the stuff that we need to do. Got the flaring kit and all that, so we'll, um, yeah, crack into it. <sighs> Sit back and relax, this is going to be a fun one. So there's two, four, six bolts holding this thing in. Ooh. Here we are. It's pretty filth. Pretty filth. Ah, rolling. Rolling. No handbrake. Shit. Rolling. Shit. Uh. Fucking no handbrake. Uh. So we're just going to cut a massive section out of the floor. Like that. Now this is something else optional. I'm actually gonna opt to get rid of this completely because it's gonna be in the way and it doesn't work anyway. So yes, this is just gonna go on the, I'm just gonna unbolt it and cut out the grinder and then we'll mock up for the new handbrake. All right guys, what we've decided is a bit of bar out there, a bit of bar out there, and then a bit of flat bar running that way. And that will place the handbrake basically there so we'll be able to get the car it won't be perfect but we'll be able to I'll get rid of this handbrake and then we'll be able to I'll give you guys a quick little update. This line went from the outlet, okay? I'm gonna rebend it, drill a hole in the firewall if I have to, and it's gonna go into here, which is the outlet. Now I'm gonna make a new line using the fitting that I just cut off here onto my flared line with some pipe that I bought from the shops. And it's gonna go 
from here, the outlet of here, to the inlet of the handbrake. Does it, I hope that makes sense to you guys. But this is like, if I can get this to reach the handbrake inside the car, we're done. Like, it's so easy. Literally just bleed it and I'll have a hydro. 250 bucks, and that's including the price of this flaring, awesome flaring toolkit. Literally the easiest job. The only hard thing is if you don't have a welder, to get someone to weld up a bracket for the actual hydro in the car. Let's crack on. I'll try and film it best I can. But this is so much fun. I love these sort of mods in these cars. See that line that goes over there and there? I just pulled it down through the engine bay, rebent it underneath the car. I'll show you. So you can see it snaking up there now. So I literally just rebent it. You can rebend it really easily with your hands and done. So that's lines to the rear wheels. Done. So we're just making the new line that goes from here out of our new copper pipe. We're making this one now that goes to the handbrake. I'm probably just going to follow the same route. Following the same line, then I'm going to grab this and feed it underneath the car so it can come up in the same spot as the other one. So now all we have to do is flare two lines, tighten four fittings, bleed the brakes, and there's a hydro in the AU. This is happening guys, this is epic. This is literally taking me from start to finish, maybe two hours, and it was just welding in this and a cutting a bit of steel, and literally, I did only had to make one line. Unbelievable. Let's flare some lines. So I've got this one done. I'm just doing the last one here. Through all of the shit, um, the shit ones of these that I've seen on people using them on Facebook, uh, on YouTube, buy this one, it just works. Like, I, it's that easy to flare it. That's literally it, fully flared. Fully flared line. There you have it. We have a fucking hydraulic handbrake in the ute. Oh my god, that was. Oh, that's not worked. Spoke too soon. Okay, guys, it's actually two days in the future. We had a few little problems. I'll let you, I'll just quickly explain it. You can see, for some reason, the uh, outlet on this wasn't actually the right fitting type so what we had to do is we had to get a, a fitting that changed it from just a thread to the crimp fitting for the hard line it's all bled up now and it works there's no leaking whatsoever also got some of these new brake pads to go into i've done a little bit of testing with the car These brake pads are absolutely shit and old. Um, uh, yeah, so I have to pull that handbrake really hard to get it to lock up on the tarmac. Not that I've done it at all or driven the car, but um, lol jokes. Um, yes, so new pads. Yeah, see, they're pretty flogged, they're cracked. And I have had these come loose before, so shout out to Dylan French if you want to do that. 
Alrighty. We're pretty much done here. Pretty much done, I got everything back together. I couldn't put the front extenders there, even though I really wanted to because just couldn't, so the front extenders there, which is fine. And we've got our new mount down there. So I'm sitting in here now. Feeling feeling pretty bloody good. Feeling good? Hopefully the new pads feel good. And I've bled it all again as well because I didn't know if it was fully bled. So yeah. So thanks for watching guys, it's our high, it's high, Howler's Garage Hydraulic Handbrake Install, number one. To be honest, I think it's my favourite mod I've ever done to a car. It just looks so cool in there now, and it's so much cooler to drive. Um, it's just phenomenal, I can't even... Yeah, cool. This ute is now entered officially for the 27th of May at Simmons Plains for an Island State Drift event. I'm just to be doing a practice, not doing a competition because it's uh, I'm a terrible driver. Never actually really drifted before on track, so yeah. Um, if you guys want to come and have a check it out, we will be there probably all day with this. Probably not going to get the sky on there because uh, no one can drive it for me. Or well, this, no one wants to drive this, so I have to drive it. Maybe we've gone on a trailer. Enough rambling. So just a bit of a summary: pads, handbrake. Bleeding, done, done, done. Fire extinguisher install. We have a stainless steel muffler coming for this thing because it sounds like an absolute shit box right now. And I want it to be a little bit better for the day. So once we've got that in, I'll drop a little side pipe or something for it, like a little exhaust. Other than that, it's actually pretty much ready to go. Do an oil change on it maybe. Um, throw some 98 in it. And then I reckon that'll be it for this because I've spent all my money on this stupid car. And I, that's a piece of shit. I will be doing some livery for this car. I've actually had a cool, few cool ideas. I might do an episode before then on the livery idea. I'm trying to make it look a bit like a racing car. Other than that, thanks for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Oh, like and subscribe as well if you want to. We nearly got 100 subscribers, so which is really cool. And I nearly got 1,000 views in the last video. So keep it up, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Sorted. They've got some uh, battle wounds on them from just normal street driving.